Hello again. Are we, are we live this time, are we? we are, well, we're definitely live. That's good to know. That's good to know. Just a bit of a practice before. Uh, welcome back. If you joined us a little bit earlier, I'd love to see you again. If you are just joining us, hello. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you're watching us from. Lovely to have you here with us on Crafters TV. It is all about creative cravings for the next couple of hours. Um, only the second show that I've done with Creative Cravings, but this is, I think, a little bit about going back to basics, just a bit on a few of our uh, favorite ranges from uh, recent days and recent weeks. So it's all about getting interactive. Anything that you want to know, anything you want to ask, maybe you're quite new to Crafters TV, maybe you're quite new into crafting as well, and uh, you want to ask any questions about anything. No such thing as a silly question. Um, get in touch with us. You can um, get in touch on Facebook. Also, if you're on the YouTube as well, on the YouTube, what am I talking about? On the YouTube, listen to me. <laughs> on the YouTube, or uh, if you're uh, down on the down on the grams, as uh, sorry called. If you're using the World Wide Web, basically, uh, you can get in touch and you can say hello, ask those questions, and we will put them uh, to our guest. Who's, I mean, he's been brilliant, hasn't he, the last couple of days? And hopefully, he will be equally as brilliant over the course of the next couple of hours with the creative cravings. It is Craig. How are you? It's just like listening to my stepdad. What? Try to get down with the kids. With well, all the I'm not that old. old. Terminology. I'm not that old. Okay, maybe my brother then. Just because I said the, what did I say? The YouTube. Getting down with the YouTube. No, no getting down with the grams. That, that was Sarah's thing. That's what she told me. When you talk about Instagram, you have to say getting down with the grams. Never heard that one before. No? It's new to me. And I quite like Instagram as well. It's one of my favorite, if you haven't uh, already been able to see. Um, but yeah, hello. <laughs> We've had a good day. We well, had a really good day. <laughs> that wasn't subtle enough to just going straight into the next one, was it? Um, yeah, Creative Cravings. Been a while since I've done a Creative Cravings as well, so uh, this is going to be fun. Uh, we're going to bring it right back to uh, more of a basic, so we've got a nice selection. Christmas themed, but you can be uh, using or creating what I'm going to be showing you on its own. Or as I always say, you can start to mix and match. We've got dyes. We've got some double-sided dies. We've got some stamps as well. So we've got a nice selection of different demos to show you throughout the next couple of hours. We certainly have, and I'm kind of with you on this. If you're um, brand new to us here on Crafters TV, obviously this is only my second full week here on the channel. I feel like I've been there for ages, if I'm being honest. Um, but listen, um, lots of the products that we're seeing on this show, you may well have seen before. I'm seeing them for the first time. So if you are as well, and you've got any questions about any of the goodies that we've got, uh, get those in. Shout outs already to Sarah in Melbourne, Australia, who's watching. Kathy from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Linda from Illinois is watching. And Bridget from the Netherlands as well. Well, I love it here as well. We're all like one little family on one, one little happy family, uh, recognizing a lot of the names already. Uh, Lisa in Texas and Peg in Indiana, uh, also watching. And Hannah Horn on Facebook says, Hello, Craig and Ben. Hello, Hannah Horn. Hello. Hello. Hey, Hannah. Uh, do you know Hannah? I do. Oh, I you do? do? Hannah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. watches all the time. Uh, well, listen, boy oh boy, have we got some amazing collections to bring to you over the course of the uh, next couple of hours. And we are kicking off with the Christmas Creator Cards, um, the interchangeable Creator Card uh, Christmas Collection with 20 different elements. Now, this is uh, £78 or $90 if you're watching us in the States. Savings to be had all over the place. And the great thing about this is is that you get um, these amazing designs and actually the ability to um, change the uh, sentiment within the different designs that you get. Um, great for kind of your apertures, great for making your um, maybe your shaker cards as well. But what I love about this is you do have the interchangeable sentiments for each of the um, different cards that you get within the collection. It is pretty much a one pass wonder to give you um, some wonderful cards. I'm just destroying the set already. I'm really getting uh, getting into a muddle already. But listen, uh, these are great. So we're going to kick off with your um, interchangeable Christmas tree uh, die frame. And again with this, you can see how this cuts through and then you've got the ability to pop in all of the different sentiments which come with this. So you've kind of got your traditional Merry Christmas. You've got your season's greetings as well and happy holidays. Um, again, if you haven't seen these, ha seen how these all work, we will We'll be showing you these in full detail as we head on through the show. Uh, next up within this collection, you've got your interchangeable star and take a look at that as well. The level of detail that you get with this is absolutely phenomenal. And then you've got those interchangeable sentiments that you can pop in um, as well. So peace on earth, 
Joy to the World and Star of Wonder. Star of Light. Oh, I know I started singing the other one. Uh, star of Wonder, Star of Light. Na, 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 bright. Uh, leading still proceeding right us to the perfect light. Next verse, Craig. Oh. I think we can get away with singing the carols as well, can't we? See, I was thinking of the other one on uh, Home Alone 2. What's Star that one? Da, da, da. Yeah, I guess. Which, which, which one's that again, Craig? Um, the... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not good. Starlight. Da, 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 that one. That's how it goes. Perfect. You know the Anyway, uh, moving swiftly on, uh, interchangeable snowflake as well. By the way, um, Derek is um, in the producer's chair once again. He's been very strict today, isn't he? He's like, Get a move on, stop singing. Uh, uh, <clears throat> moving swiftly on with your uh, beautiful snowflake. And again, take a look at all of the detail that you've got in here with the interchangeable sentiments, which give you let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Believe in the magic and winter which is so much singing going on in the gallery. <laughs> Craig's dancing over there. I mean, <laughs> oh dear. It's going to be one of those shows. I can feel it now. Uh, and then we've also got your interchangeable holly frame as well. And again, look at this. So much detail in here. And the interchangeable sentiments of uh, Deck the Halls. La 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 la. Uh, Jolly holidays. It's a holly jolly Christmas. It's like having Michael Bublé in the <laughs> studio, isn't it, eh? And uh, last but by... Oh, no. Last but by no means least, tis the season. To be jolly. Ba la 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 <laughs> la. <laughs> oh, dear. I need to go and lie down. Um, tw <laughs> 20... What did you have in the break in between shows? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. One of those. One of those. Um, you get all of these included in this collection um, for £78 or $90. Um, if you want to go uh, individually, you can. They are on a two for forty-two fifty. but as you said, uh, best value for money is if you go for the uh, full collection and get the lot. £78, $90. You're saving uh, almost £22 if you're in the UK or uh, over 40 40, well, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm destroying the set again. I, I'm sorry, guys. I've done this so many times over the course of the last two days. It won't stay. It won't, I'll do that in a minute because that's very boring to watch, isn't it? We have got some. We have got some glues coming up for you later on. Um, but details on the um, cards individually, the creator cards. If you want to go for those, you can go for them individually, and they're on a uh, two for forty-two fifty as well. So if you just want to mix and match, you've got the ability to create your own smaller bundle as well. But I think um, we're going to have a look at some other goodies on the show as well. The edgeables and. I wanted to ask you about these because so the, these are double sided dies um, which allow you to kind of cut top and side to side on all of your projects. Is that right? Is that how these work? That's exactly how it works. We're going to be showing you them later on if maybe you've never seen them before. But what they do is one pass through your Gemini. What it does is it die cuts the detail from one side and it die cuts the other side because the actual die is double sided. So if you are using your junior or your large Gemini, you're going to need your two cutting plates that you get with it as standard and then you're all also need, I call them the mint plates. They're really, really, really tough. Uh, I know Ben will be showing you or going over them just shortly and then I'll show you them how they work. So it's really just four plates and it does the double-sided die cutting all at once. Um, it is your six piece Christmas collection already actually lots of people commenting on how useful and how easy to use uh, these uh, double sided layerable edgeable dies are so this is the Christmas collection uh, you're going to get all six of these for £65 and um, you've got your snow flurry my favourite is a little bit further on in this collection but again you've got uh, your beautiful trio of trees again I I'm seeing these for the first time and um, we'll show you exactly how easy it is to uh, use and create with these over the course of the show there's your string of lights 
You've got your um, delightful decorations. Take a look at those, all your uh, Christmas baubles and uh, Christmas lanterns as well. This is my absolute favourite, the dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. See, what I like, so what I like about this, you've got your edge board, but then here you've like cut Father Christmas and the reindeer out of the, the die cut, is that right? That's it, so the way that it's layered up there, so in those parts, actually you're kind of getting three layers because you're getting one of the focal point of the houses, you get the background of the houses, but also actually die cuts the uh, reindeer and Santa as well. That, I see the die, there we go, that die, if you lift that right oh. up, it will probably fall oh, out. there we go. Uh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It's that fine. that does happen, don't worry, it doesn't just happen to you. But you've got all that detail as well that die cuts out that you can see there. On that side you've got the sand and the sleigh. Stay. And then finally, again, similar with this one, I guess, with the Bethlehem skyline, and the fact that you can you can cut out the, inter the, the figures as well, right? You can do, yeah, all die cuts out for you, so you could be, what that would then be waste when it comes to the uh, um, camel, is it camel? Uh, is it a camel? It's a camel. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a camel. Uh, yeah. And the shepherd, but what you can just do is actually just uh, use it elsewhere. Um, £65. Uh, honestly, sometimes I kind of wish that you could hear what was going on in the gallery because they're singing along to everything. Uh, £65 for the uh, collection. Um, as we mentioned, so if we're going for those, we, we need to go for the double-sided plates as well, correct? Yes. So if you are using the large Gemini, then of course get the A4 ones. If you're using the Junior, then obviously get the smaller ones. However, remember, if you have your large Gemini, yep. you can use these smaller plates the, with the large Gemini, just yep. lengthways. That's it there, just yep. a way to show you in a moment. So you can do. But of course, if you want to do different sizes, larger cards, then uh, get the larger plates for your large Gemini. So 11.04, 14.40 for the Junior. You get your two cutting plates there. And then of course we have got your um, double-sided full-size plates included as well uh, for the large Gemini, 16.99 or 21.20 um, if you want to go for those. And as I said, if you haven't already got those with the double-sided dies, you will need those uh, to get the maximum effect um, with those. Next up, we've got some amazing stamps and these are great if you're um, kind of looking for a little bit different as far as the uh, you know your stamps are concerned this Christmas with your cards um, these are brilliant because these are your uh, quirky sentiments and you're gonna get nine of these included in this collection with a 20% saving uh, 1850 for the full collection uh, so you've got your Merry <laughs> you've got your Merry Christmas <laughs> was that you Craig sorry <laughs> Too much fizzy juice. <laughs> you can, you can't. Uh, your naughty is the new nice. See, that's Craig today. That is, he's been a little bit playful. He's already been on the naughty step, and he's been to see uh, the headmaster uh, after his performance in the last hour. Um, again, look at this. A little bit different. This one is keep calm uh, and get your ho 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 on. Love that design. I love the sentiments as well. Just all a little bit different, isn't it? A little bit kind of uh, different from the norm. Uh, I'm Santa's favourite. That's me. That's me. You've also got in this collection, um, <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. L love the fact you've got your little, um, what do you call that, your little um, snow globe. storm, isn't it? Your snow yeah. globe as well. Absolutely beautiful. Here's your Christmas tree. And this one, um, it says, it's not, I can't read it. It, I do, I've got my glasses here actually. It's not what's under the tree oh, I'm putting my that glasses matter. on. Sorry. Wait there, yeah. I, can, I can do it. It's not what's under the tree that matters, it's who's gathered around it, everybody. Ah. Uh, we've also got in there, sorry Maybe. Santa, but naughty just feels so nice. That's Craig's stamp. That's definitely him today. There he is, look at him. Look, it's so angelic, he's, he's so cute. Uh, sweet but twisted. Uh, does that make me a candy cane? Oh yeah, sweet bit twisted. Sweet but twisted. No, it's not that, is it at all? Sweet, but, sweet like chocolate, I'm thinking of. And then finally, don't get your tint. This is words to live by here on this final one. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. They are great, are they not? They are great. Um, your uh, quirky sentiment stamps, £18.50 for the lot, or £25.50 if you are in the state. Now, Next up, uh, these are brilliant. Your glue blunt, glue bundles, glue bundles, and these are your hero tools. 
Now you're gonna get your essential Carlisle <laughs> glue kit. You've got your two tacky glues. You've also got your two all-purpose included with this as well. And these are really cool. I've not seen these before, but these are your fine tip applicators. Um, and basically, Derek was telling me about these earlier on, they are essential really. So if you're doing like really kind of intricate uh, dyes, for example, that have um, you know got kind of small surface areas for you to glue, these are absolutely perfect uh, and ones that you definitely need to go for. Uh, and again, just a difference between the, uh, the glues as well that we've got here. What are we gonna be using those for, the two different glues? So when it comes to layering up, then you can use the all-purpose glue, you know, uh, Debbie Robinson and uh, Leanne says the best glue in the world. So if you want to do your layering up, that gives you a bit of maneuverability. If you maybe can't get straight on using your uh, tape runner or double-sided tape. When it comes to the tacky glue, if you like to die cut your flowers, you know, with your card or paper, you like to layer them up, then that tacky glue is good for assembling flowers. However, you can still use it to do your mats and layer as well. It dries relatively quick because it's got that tack to it. And the deal on this is phenomenal. Again, you'll know the sort of price that you'll pay for individual bottles of your glue. So for £15 for the lot, the fact that you get your um, fine tip glue applicators as well, that is amazing and you're getting two lots of the two so you're getting four so you get two lots of two equals four look at me with maths today 150 times uh one and then you've got yeah two times two is four i can do it all uh, 15 pounds or 28 dollars so that's your kind of your wet adhesive and then we've got your kind of like dry dry adhesive um, as well. And again, this bundle is amazing. Your ultimate tape bundle, you're gonna get one each of the um, the tape pens. So you've got your tape runner, which um, I think, did we say there's like 22 meters in each of the, um, mm -hmm. the, the tape pens? So you've got loads in there compared to your kind of average um, tape pen. That is a lot. And same with the Dotty as well. Really clever design on the um, the Dotty tape pen. 22 meters worth in there, again, for those sort of more uh, intricate things that you need to stick. And then you've also got three rolls of the low tack. So, you know, for fixing your dies, for your kind of um, fixing your stencils and your masking techniques, all those kind of things. But they um, come down on those little rolls as well, which is quite handy. Eight pounds and 97 pence for all of that. And that is again a bargain or 12.95 if you're in the States. So take advantage of these deals. These are the kind of things that you never want to run out of, aren't they really? And you can pick them up today at an unbelievable low, low price. Now, also, oh yeah, hang on a minute. Let's show you this. Now, do you know what? Stamping, I think, can be um, a lot of fun, but it also can be quite a frustrating thing to do as well, because if you don't get the perfect stamp first time, you're then having to think to yourself, well, am I gonna try to kind of line it up again and stamp it again? Um, and also, if you are someone who perhaps is into batch stamping as well, this is where your uh, stamping platform mag magnetic base will come into effect, because it allows you to um, stamp really crisply, really cleanly, and it gets you that kind of exact um, uh, sort of stamp each and every time. Accuracy is the word I'm looking for, yes. Um, it is our only stamping platform, the 8x8, that comes with a magnetic base as well. So if you are looking for accuracy in your stamping, maybe you've um, stopped stamping because you have dexterity issues or something like that, this is a perfect thing to go for. $24.99 or $29.99 for uh, your 8x8 stamping platform. Get those questions in. As I said, Creative Cravings is all about um, you know going back to basics on things, asking the questions, which you know, if you are normally someone who's a little bit like, oh, I don't want to ask that question, ask the question today. And actually, if there's anything you want to show us over the course, I didn't do that. I, I barely touched that. I'm sure you guys are balancing things uh, so that they fall over. I'll sort that out. Anyway, what I was saying was, send us your pictures, particularly if you've already started crafting with any of the goodies that we've got on the show. Uh, we want to see them. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Loads of love already for the interchangeable dies. Uh, Julia says, these dies are so clever. We're going to look at those in just a bit, but I think we're going to start uh, by looking at the uh, creator cards. Are we not? We absolutely are. So what we thought we'd do first is actually show you some of the things that you can be making, just giving you some ideas. So you can then, of course, use your mirror card, your matte card, you know, your smooth card, black card. If you got any of the uh, adorable scorable in our last show, you could be using that. But then just creating your concept. So the die sets, we'll show you in just a moment, but you get them in detail, but then you also get the outside die. What that means is you can cut into your card, you can cut out of your card as well. 
and then you can interchange with the different sentiments. So just a few to show you to start with and then we will just get cracking on with the first demonstration. So what we're going to do with this one, we're going to use the interchangeable snowflake one. Okay. So if I bring the die set that you can see just here. So this is how the main detail is. You have got the detailed die. Now there's no cutting edge all the way around. So that just means you can, for instance, you cut that into an eight by eight card blank, then that's going to stay within the eight by eight. However, if you put the outside die around it, then that is going to make it six by six. So that's uh, the actual die set. But then within each one as well, you get certain uh, different sentiments. So as Ben was showing you earlier on, you get the three of them within this one just here. So you've got the let it snow. So if, say, if I show you the detailed side, that is back to front, but it lets you see the let it snow. Nothing stopping you from using them on their own. Again, these will stay within the cardstock, but you can just snip away if you want to use them separate. And that's exactly how they look. So what we're going to do is I've taken a six by six card blank and I've just brought some of my water reactive inks. So I've brought my ocean blue uh -huh. and I've also brought in the crushed velvet so we're just going to do a bit of inking in the middle now you might think you know that certainly with the blue not very uh, Christmassy, Christmassy all the time mm. but then bringing it in with the snowflakes then of course it's going to work just perfectly so I'm just adding my ink on I'm just going to start with the blue and I'm just going to go straight in so I'm just adding the color straight in with the middle I'm not worried too much about the blending technique or the way that it looks because I just want to lay that color on and keeping in mind what you're doing anyways you're away to die cut all the detail so I'm just adding some of the blue all the way around so we can just picking that color up just here if you want to go for the ink pads as well we've got this on a three for two uh, on the show 4.99 individually or 6.95 um, for your pigment ink pads have a look at those on our website but um, yeah they are on the show so you can uh, you can pop those into your basket as well as far as the dies are concerned well they will go through all of the different size machines will they uh, they will do, yeah, yeah. because uh, they're wafer thin dies as well, so perfect for the Gemini, however if you do have any other die cutting machines it will uh, go through them no problem, and because they are 6x6 uh, six six, they will also go through your Gemini Junior or any of your other small die cutting machines. Any of your really small ones like the Mini and that, the Wee Sentiments will go through them as well. So, I'm That's quite otherworldly that, isn't it? It That's is, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. like you're just looking straight into the middle. Yeah. So let's just add just another bit of blue just into the centre, just to blend that out. Again, it goes to show how even the blue and the purple just blends out. So that was the ocean blue and the crushed velvet within our water reactive. So there we go. Let's just finish that one. So that's the look that we're going for just there so let's move these out the way and then what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in the die but because I'm going to die cut straight into the card blank I'm not going to use that outside edge but it could be using that elsewhere just in daily crafting you know that's a good size square die so you could be using it for a matte and layer uh -huh. of apertures you know so use it elsewhere as well so what I'm just going to do is let's just get, uh, maybe we won't, uh, where, where what are we looking we? for? I was looking for a wipe just to clear my, the ink, but do you know what, well, we will... I've got uh, some, I got some wipes, uh, they do? Yeah, could, yes, that will do, I know they're hand wipes, but that'll do for the moment, yep. just while we Catch. clean up. Thank you very much. Good catch. Just to get the ink, because just because we're uh, <laughs> colouring straight onto our card blank, yep. and we've gone onto the glass mat, I just don't want to uh, uh, go straight on and work on. Otherwise, we will uh, get ink all over the place. Get my hands at the same, clean at the same time, and then let's just take that excess off. So what we can do now is, I'm just going to use the uh, large Gemini for, uh, well actually throughout the whole show, but of course as I said it will go through uh, the junior. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to position it where I want it to go and then let's bring in our tape and I'm just going to add just a wee bit of tape to the actual die. Again so this I'm is where your tacky tape will come into play won't it if you're going for the, uh, the bundle. Perfect absolutely perfect so i'm just going to add a wee bit just to the corner where it overlaps i don't want to pop it into the center because i'm going to add my sentiment as well so if we take the actually I tell you what let's let's do this bit separate the other demonstrations what we'll do is we'll do it all at once however for this one we'll do it separate just to show you because i know some uh, crafters out there they get a bit scared uh, running both dies through at the exact same time just in case the actual die was to jump right and it might damage it 
So, so what, what is the preferred do? way to do it then? To do it as you're doing now and then add the sentiment afterwards? If you are in any doubt, then run this one through first and then come along with your sentiment after and do it a second time with the sentiment. However, if you are more than comfortable like I am using our double si our, uh, low tack tape and secure it down completely with the actual die and the sentiment, you know that it's going to be in place and it's not going to move. But I just want to show you that you, uh, if you are a bit you know, worried or concerned, then you can do it separate. So let's just peel all of this off. Lots of love for the colours that you used on this card. Um, Joel maintaining pretty colours and lots of people saying that they've um, got these creator cards and they absolutely love them. If you are one of those people who's already got the cre uh, Christmas creator cards, send us pictures of what you've been doing so that we can have a little uh, nose. And it's always great, isn't it? When you send in your projects to us, we can then share them with the rest of the world and you can um, inspire everybody as well. Look at that, that's phenomenal. It's so nice to see what everyone makes as well. You know, and there's some colour combinations or some styles that we don't always think of, but um, uh, we then go and replicate as well. So that's how I always say, do send in what you uh, make. So now what we can do is, you could leave it like that and then maybe if you've got an, any other dyes or sentiments, why not incorporate them? That's entirely up to you. But just to show you as well, these bits that are uh, what we would say is the waste, you know, use them as well. Oh, is that embellishment? These things, yeah. We've coloured them, obviously, yeah. with the ink. So have a look. There's lots of different snowflakes in with the actual uh, design. So even that one there. But then what about this one? Use it as a corner accent oh, in the yeah. corner of your card. It's worth getting a little box, isn't it, to keep all of your little exactly. bits and pieces in. If you like to do your projects. flower form and foams, that, that could be an additional, you know, accent on the background, you know, for any of the foliage, anything like that. So do have a look and see uh, wh uh, where else you can use the bits of waste. So then what I would just do now is just come in again and then bring in our chosen sentiment. Let's go for, let's go for winter wishes. And then I'm just going to, if we then pop it that way. Now, if we go that way, that's the way that we want it. So all that I'm just going to do again, take in our tape and I'm just going to hold that into place just like that. So I want to get it as close to centre as possible. And then let's just add that on and we're just going to run this one through as well. You mentioned the flower forming foam a minute ago. Sally on Facebook says, which glue would you use for flower forming foam? So flower forming foam, I would actually use our hot glue. We'd use our hot glue for that one. If you don't have hot glue and uh, you want to use one of the other ones, then use one of the, use the tacky glue because then that's then going to dry into kind of like the, uh, the material of the flowers. Soak in dry and it's going to be extra tough the uh, hot glue will do it instantly for you. And uh, lots of people asking about the um, the sandwiches for the uh, dies, particularly on the Gemini Junior as well. Plates um, with the dies, what's the sandwich makeup? For uh, what we're using just now? Uh, what's the correct sandwich for the Gemini Junior plates with the dies? So if it's for these ones here, the ones yeah. that we're using at the moment, so this is still classed as what we would say is a wafer thin die. Okay. So it's the same combination. So it is your uh, base cutting plate, then it is your plastic shim, yep. your magnetic shim, yep. and then your top cutting plate. Got you. So that is that combination for these dies. And then when we come along to the double sided dies, we'll show you that plate combination for that one. Awesome. So then all that I'm just doing now is Taking that one out, and we can see that we've got our sentiment just into the middle there. Yeah. That's just nicely die cut. Winter wishes. But I want to, you know, enhance that a wee bit more, Ben. So what I'm going to do is I've got some of our Centura Pearl. So this is one of uh, the blue tones that we've got just here. So now what I'm going to do is if I take that die again, and then I'm just going to pop these wee bits out, and then we're just going to just run that one on as well. So we're just running it through, let's just tape it down. And then just to show you as well, if you do have the large Gemini, but you want to use the smaller plates, because this is a smaller die, then what we can do, base cutting plate, plastic shim, magnetic shim, and then top cutting plate, and we can just pop Put that in at the angle. Got you. And that can go through that way. Not forgetting, if you don't have the junior plate, Using the large one, even for a small die like that, just press the pause and reverse button, and then that cuts down the time as well. Oh, Cynthia on Facebook saying, I would foil that um, middle sentiment. We've got foiling tomorrow, haven't we? We do indeed. Tomorrow, tomorrow at uh, one o'clock, haven't we? We foiling do. Foiling 101, I'm, I'm sure I saw. Foiling 101. Wow. So, we do have some goodies for you. 
However, what I did ask, I actually asked just before I went off uh, on my wee break, and I said, when it comes to the foil press, can we do it so it's a show where we are showing you how to use your normal dies, and I don't just mean our normal dies, I mean any of your other wafer thin dies from other company, how you can foil that detail. Then take, for instance, this die cut bit, we're going to foil that, we're going to foil material card, we're going to do all this different thing, so that is a great idea, using it. I think, if I remember, we'll keep a hold of one of these sets of dies, and I'll show you tomorrow how you can foil these ones, so that's awesome. tomorrow. Um, and one quick question before I forget, I want to keep up with these. Um, June on uh, YouTube says, I missed what colours Craig said he used um, for the card that you're doing now. Which um, two inks did you use? Mm. So I used the Ocean Blue yep. and Crushed Velvet, Oof, so crushed from our velvet. Water Reactive uh, Rage that we used with that one just there, so you can see them there. There you go, June. That's that one. There we go. So what I've just done, that's die cut now, Ben. So I'm just going to take my scissors and if I pop a bit of white behind. So all that I'm just doing now is I'm just going to just freehand, just cut round there, just to make it easier for myself. If you are uh, more accurate, then you could then be careful and then you could snip all that out properly and you'd be less with a nice star aperture. But then all that I'm just doing now is I'm just following the line and I'm just cutting away just any of these uh, excess bits just there. So I'm going to be left with the sentiment. So although that these dies actually die cut and stay in place, you can use them on their own if you want. Just snip away the excess. Uh, Laurie's going to be watching tomorrow um, on Facebook. Oh, yay, more foil press demos. Do you know what? It's yay, yippee. I haven't seen a lot of foil press demos, so I am. Uh, I mean, genuinely, I mean, I'm very excited anyway, because this is all new to me. It's all new. Um, so I'm genuinely looking forward to that. Oh, and by the way, sorry, I'm interrupting you, Craig. Tomorrow, uh, 4 o'clock UK time, 11 a.m. East Coast, 8 a.m. West Coast, we have a massive card load. It's the biggest card load in history. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be huge tomorrow. Wait till you see it. Uh, we've got Debbie, and literally, I don't think there's gonna be <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be enough room in the studio for all of the goodies that we've got. And I think we've got savings. We've got like 40, 50 percent off, probably more. 60 percent, 70 percent off tomorrow. Big savings. Um, it's gonna be roll your sleeves up time, and we're just gonna. It's all gonna be here. I'm gonna sort. I'm gonna sort of just dive in. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, can I just say, you know, here in the UK, forget X Factor voiceover guy, forget Big Brother voiceover guy. I genuinely believe we've got one of the best uh, voiceover guys, as well as many of the other uh, different different talents that Ben got, and that's genuine. So much so, uh, Ben, what's my voicemail on my phone? It's something like, "Hello, you've reached the phone of Craig Led. He's busy right now." But call back like it's something like that, isn't it? I didn't know that you were actually going to do it. I thought oh. you were just going to say, is it not my voice? His I number is 07. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, obviously. Again, a lot of people here in the UK. You're still not paying me for that. No, that. Uh, no, I know. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I did ask Ben uh, doing a certain voiceover for the X yeah. Factor here in the UK. Ben didn't do the uh, voiceover for X Factor, but no, it was style, and I absolutely loved it, so I yeah. got to do mine. So thank you, Ben. You brought me some shortbread in yesterday, which I, um, is kind of I payment did. for it, isn't it, really? So. Anyway, back to that card. <laughs> so this was the one that I cut out that you've seen. I did have one that I'd already cut out, and I just ran it through my Xyron. You could use that glue pack that we've got there with that fine tip, and we've just placed that back over the top, so that really makes it stand out. Then I've just taken some of our lilac glitter card. So this is our shedless glitter card. And then I'm just going to add that within the middle. And then what that's going to do is that's just going to show off all the colours that we've used even more. And you're still going to have that bit of sparkle from the glitter just shining through. So if I just finish it just like that one, you can see there. And because we have used the blue just within the middle, it just pops out and we've got the glitter that you can see coming through. Absolutely oh. gorgeous. And I tell you what, the more that we mentioned the foil press demos, more and more of you are coming on saying, looking forward to the foil press demos, that's tomorrow. And by the way, just before we um, kind of recap on that, there's a lot of love here. Now, how are you up for um, doing some duets, Craig? Because, yeah. I'm not being funny, there's a, there's a lot of love here for the product, but also there's a lot of requests now uh, that me and you put a Christmas CD together. Really? Oh, yeah. Um, I can't sing for toffee. Marlena says, I love the singing. Susan says, I love it. Will you two make a Christmas CD for us? We'll be like, like Robson and Jerome. 
Yeah, um, yeah. yeah we'll, we can get the we can get the uh, bag Christmas jumpers. I think it's more like Jaguar than Robson Jerome. Well, speak for yourself. Uh, Vanessa on Facebook says, "Love it, you guys make my day." Uh, and just watching YouTube is making my day better, says Mary. Um, so there you are. Lots of love for the singing. Maybe we could do that. You know what are you doing over there now? Well, just do what you were doing then. Go on. What were you, do what were you doing? Someone just said to me there, more like Ches and Ch Chaz and Dave. Oh yeah. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember Chaz and Dave doing that. Did they? And your, uh, you know, I was, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, anyway. <laughs> my director's gone. Mobs in the drone. You two are more like the Chuckle Brothers. Uh, and on that note, I think we should recap on the creator cards. So. You've seen how easy it is to use these um, and, and how versatile they are as well. One pass if you want to do it that way, but as we saw in the last demo with Craig, you've got the ability to kind of um, you know, pop the main frame through and then choose which sentiment that you want to use as well. Love the idea, um, all the ideas that have come through of taking that main sentiment and perhaps foiling it as well, but you've got a lot of choice and a lot of options here with these collections. And as I said, yeah, a lot of people have already mentioned how much they love this collection. Um, and a lot of people saying um, uh, you know, they've already got this collection. Send us your um, pictures as to what you've been doing and working with as well. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Pictures coming through. It's just great, you see, because we we can um, we can obviously share your pictures, share your cards with everybody uh, who is um, watching this afternoon. Right. Um, let us. Um, are we going to have a look at the boards? No, we're not. Are we? We are, we are, okay. Um, quickly show you the, um, uh, the boards, everything that you're going to get. So, you've got your Christmas tree there with your Merry Christmas, with your Happy Holidays, and your season's <laughs> greetings as well. Are we, are we gonna have to sing all of these again? Uh, peace on earth, joy to the world, the king of the uh, Craig, we've also got this one here, which is that one. Star, star of wonder, star, star of wonder. No, it doesn't go like that. Never mind. Don't, I don't uh, know that one. No. Okay. We've got this, this, the star, <laughs> the snowflake one. Let's just stick the auto tune on now. And there we've got this one, Craig. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. Um. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's magic. magic. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> <laughs> What's that one? Do you believe in magic? Can we say that film? On here? Oh, I don't know. American Pie. Oh, is that? I've not seen that. Yeah, not seen it. Uh, and winter, winter wishes. That's your snowflake. And then um, we've also got your uh, your beautiful holly, with interchangeable holly. We've decked the horns with bows of holly. La 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 la. There you go. Harmonies as well. Uh, jolly holly days and. T and tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. We're doing harmonies and everything. Maybe we will, we'll do that CD. We'll do that CD. Uh, can you imagine if we come to Craft TV and on this show you can buy <laughs> the Christmas CD with Ben and Craig? Uh, 20 elements in your Christmas uh, creator card collection, £78 or $90. If you want to break it down, you can do that. But the main value is in the, uh, in the collection. Right. Oh no. Yes. Sorry. I've, I've got to show you. Got to show you uh, Lois, haven't I? Is this Lois? Is it? Oh, Lois. Um, now we've got some storage for you. And as we discovered, I think it was yesterday. There's a lot of need for storage and a lot of need for tidying up as far as craft rooms across well this country and beyond is concerned. Uh, and this is where these bags are absolutely perfect because this is your uh, Lois. Lois 2.0. Um, the, <laughs> is that what it's called? It is, isn't it? The lowest 2.0, not the lowest one, the lowest 2.0, your all event tote. Now you've got it in the turquoise and the pink, but the great thing is, is you can see you have got a lot of room for this. And think out of the bag, think out the bag, think out the box. <laughs> The back, the box, just uh, just a little bit here, because this is great, obviously, for because uh, we know how much crafty stuff that you've got, and of course, if you've got some of the smaller totes from um, Totally Tiffany, like uh, Irene, Come or on, Irene. or Sue, or, or is, it, is there a brandy? Is there? 
Okay, Brandy, you can obviously fit these all in here as well. Nice and sturdy. Like the fact that your, the top of your bag is see-through so you can see exactly um, what you've got in there. Oh, look, there you go, you see. So you, yeah, we've got, we've got Leanne. You're not getting all of the stuff inside the bag. You're just getting the bag. But you can see actually how much stuff you can get into your bags because there's plenty of room in there. Who's this one? There's, no, it's fine, there's Brandy. They have got names on. You can get Brandy in there. Who's this one? That one, oh, hang on, that one is, uh, uh, looks like Jerry. Terry. <laughs> um, I won't read anymore, but listen, the point is you've got so much in there, but also not just for your crafting, you know, for a day at the beach maybe, or if you're going out for a picnic or something like that. These are absolutely brilliant. Nice and sturdy, plenty of room. Um, and uh, 15 29 is your price or 19.79. That is a 10% off deal, whether you want to go for the turquoise or whether you want to go for the pink. Uh, for now, Lois 2.0, you've got to go. And as if by magic, we bring you the edger boards. Now we're gonna have a look at these in just a few moments time and see exactly how they work. But the, um, the whole point about these is that there's a lot of love for the edger balls. Somebody was saying earlier on actually that the reason that they bought the Gemini was because of the edger balls. Um, you know, they, they love the edger balls so much, they thought, do you know what, I'm gonna get them, but obviously I need the die cut machine and away you go. So. You will need the um, separate plates with these, which we'll talk about in just a few moments time. It's all about uh, giving you that beautiful edge in your cards, whether you pop it on the top or the bottom or the side. Uh, we've got the uh, six different designs for you. So that is your snowflake flurry. Your beautiful Christmas tree. So your trio of trees, really clever. I'm looking forward to seeing how these work actually and how you can get um, the different uh, edges on this and the different dimensions as well. That one included is your string of lights. Uh, you've got your delightful decorations again with all of these beautiful baubles and Christmas lights. This is my absolute fave. Okay, can we show this one when we do it? The, um, this one here, are we gonna do that one? The dashing through the snow? No, but we can cut it. Oh yeah. That's what I mean. Can we? Cut? I didn't want you to just do a. Oh, you know, sorry. I think yeah. you meant if I had a demo for. No, that. no, no. It's, can we cut it? Of course oh, we can. Got to see Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Isn't that great? You've got the little. Uh, you've got the little uh, village and town scene with Father Christmas and his reindeer flying through the sky. And then you've also got uh, your Bethlehem skyline again with that uh, beautiful Bethlehem scene. Uh, Joseph and Mary and the camel. Is it camel? Did we say? Yes. Yes. Camel. Yeah. It's got two humps. Yeah. That's a dro droma dromedary, isn't it? Two humps, or is that one? One hump or two? A dromedary, isn't that right? A camel? Dromedary. I'm making that up. Um, oh, now we're talking camel facts in the gallery. Is this going to be? Is this relevant, or are you going to make me look stupid? Okay, I'm sure. No, a dromedary. I'm sure a camel is a dromedary. One humped or two humped camel? A dromedary. You wait. You'll be impressed with this. You'll be impressed. Here we go. Dromedary. There you go. They're just confirming that in the gallery. Uh, a dromedary camel only has one hump. What about two? Bactrian. Bactrian camels have two humps. Uh, so there you go. Now you're up to date with your camel news. Um, £65 or uh, $65, in fact, with your um, layerables. Um, oh! By the way, before we go to the uh, demos with Craig, we've got some pictures. Thank you for sending all of these in. Oh, Mary, I recognise Mary's name, um, a regular on the old socials, sending in um, lots of lovely messages. She, she was, um, I think, somebody who was asking us to uh, put out that CD. Um, so yeah, Mary, we'll send you one once we record it. Uh, that is the um, Tis the Season, which is absolutely gorgeous. To be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Next up, um, this obviously with that uh, Christmas tree showing you the two different sentiments. There's actually three within the pack, but that Merry Christmas and Seasons Greetings with love from Julia Selden. Thank you, Julia. That's amazing. See Ooh. how different the look as well, yeah. just by changing the colours. And uh, Adele. Is it Adele? No, Julia, we've just seen. We've just seen Julia. Adele. Adele Sumner. So that's like a. Um, what do you call it? Like a diorama, isn't it? It is, yeah, like a concept as well, and then just die cutting into the card. Loves that. Adds extra dimension without actually having a lot of height to it. 
Um, and again, look at that, another diorama, and again, totally different to the car that you just uh, saw a few moments ago, using the uh, different cardstock and different colours as well. Great. Keep sending those in, please, because we love to see what you've been making, what you've been up to, um, particularly with the uh, creator cards, and also if you've made any with the um, Gemini double-sided layerable edgeable cards, we would love to see those as well. Keep the messages coming in too. Lots of people loving your last demo, loving the beautiful colours that you made. Uh, Diana says, what a beautiful card. Uh, Monica says, beautiful cards uh, and colours. Uh, and Bernie on YouTube says, oh, I thought, she said, I thought Bernie said, you two can't sing for Toffee, uh, but she says, I'll sing for Toffee. What does that mean? I'll sing. Oh, I can't sing for Toffee. Uh, I don't know whether that is I can't, you can't, or we can't. But anyway. We can't. Uh, probably that's what it is. Oh, by the way, if you want those bags as well, Shadaya on Facebook says the lowest 2.0 is brilliant. Bought it, love it, bought two more. Um, so there you go. Uh, and Shannon on YouTube, I want to hear more carols from Ben and Craig. This is, that's real, that's not me making that up. We'll do that as we head through the show, but I think it is time for um, another, another demo. Um, yes, let's have a look at what uh, Craig's got lined up. We're looking at the edgeables, right? We are, so the double-sided edgeables. I just want to say as well, you know, it's one thing obviously us telling you how great and how amazing our products are and the different things you can do, but then hearing it from yourself, whether it's on YouTube yeah. and then Facebook as well. So do let us know whether you've bought the products or, you know, if there's any certain ones we are shown in that, either pictures or just how much you love it, because it sometimes helps everyone else. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Christmas tree. So it's a double-sided trio of Christmas. So this is the die. And as it's called double-sided, if I show you the other way, so that one gives you the detail. And then if I turn that around, and that gives you a more fuller tree. Now, if you're still unsure as to what I mean by that, what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a different shape card for this one. Okay. So I've just got an A5 card here. And then what I've just done, just uh, uh, two and three quarters in, I've just popped a wee bit of a pencil line just there. You can see two little lines there, just as a bit of a guide. Because then what I'm going to do is this one that gives us the full tree uh, look, I'm going to pop that on just there. So... If I turn it that way again so you can see, so there is the shape of the tree. So that's going to cut into our cardstock on this side. Uh -huh. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of our low tack tape and I'm just going to hold it down just at the side just there. And then what I'm going to do is put another bit just there. Now on this side, because we've got the die detail as well, so this fine, kind of like the fine line detail of the tree, I'm just going to bring in some of our gold matte cardstock and then that's going to go face down as well. So what that'll do in a moment, the base layer is going to cut into this layer of cardstock, then that layer is going to cut into our matte gold. So I'm just going to sit that like that for a moment and then what I'm going to do is I'll show you the plates. So whether you're using our uh, large Gemini or the Gemini Junior, you're going to need your two cutting plates that you get anyway with either of the machines. But what you're going to need, depending on the size of the machine, are the plates that Ben showed you earlier on. So the A4 ones, you get the two in, and the uh, A5 for the Gemini Junior, you also get the two in. So what you need to do, get your base cutting plate, and then one of, I call them the, the mint plates, they are extra, extra tough, and they have to be because of the pressure and the double-sided So dice. if you don't have these, you won't get the cut with the, the edgeables, right? No, you do need these yes. uh, plates to yeah. use your double-sided dies, absolutely. So we've just done our base plate and then our extra tough plate and then we've popped our cardstock with our die on top. So then what we're just going to do is bring in our cardstock over the top just like so. Then what we need to do is bring in the other plate that you can see just there because keeping in mind you've got that two die sides so they're going to need somewhere to cut into and then your top cutting plate just like that. So we're just going to then just run that one through. Patricia asks, can you use the edgeables with other machines? I guess as long as the plates go through your machine, I guess you can, right? You, you will have to work it out for yourself. Either way, you will need these two plates. So you will need these ones to do your double-sided dies. If you've got any other machine, you will have to have a play with it right. just to see if you can get that configuration right. But either way, you will need these uh, extra tough plates. Okay. And if you heard that clatter, that was because these are brand new plates. So that's it freshly cutting into Oof. these plates. So if you hear noises like that, it's normal. Don't worry. It will happen with these ones as well if you're using normal dies when the plates are new. So what I'm just going to do is if we then remove this one, so we're just going to peel that one off 
and then straight away you can see we've started to get all of that detail within the actual tree. So we've got all these wee stars, even these wee stars, keep a hold of them, use them elsewhere. Pop them in your box with the other bits and pieces yeah, that you got from earlier on. Of course you could. Then use them with your foil press tomorrow and foil them, you've got nice uh, gold or different coloured oh, stars. By the way, so many people are going to be watching tomorrow at one o'clock for our foil press 101. With the amount of people on here looking forward to that. Do you not foil, we don't foil press very often, is that why or just people just love the whole thing about foil pressing? I think it's just now, it's certainly with lockdown uh, here in the UK and a lot of people spend more time at home, a lot of people have been playing and trying with their uh, foil press a lot more and they're starting to see actually what you can do, what you can foil, what you can use. Again, it doesn't just have to be our dies, as long as it's wafer thin dies, we're going to show you that again tomorrow. Everyone's getting more confident because they've had a lot more time and they're looking to see what you can be making. Saying that, there is hours and hours and hours and hours and hours across on uh, YouTube. So uh, you've got that as well, but we'll go freshly over the foil press tomorrow. Have you got, I'm um, just hearing from uh, Derek, who's in the producer chair today. Uh, he tells me you've got a special shirt for your foil pressing. Uh, yes, I was uh, given a very shiny, yeah. probably flammable oh. shirt. Uh, to use uh, or wear when we've got the foil press. So um, I was away to say, if I remember, I've got a funny feeling I'll be getting a text from uh, Derek tonight saying, remember that well, I'll, be, I'll be texting you as well, <laughs> definitely, because we're both here. So you'll be getting two texts. If you don't bring it in tomorrow, you'll be back in the headmaster's I'll office at the end of the show. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, I will, I will, I'll, I'll wear it, my foil press. Anyway. So at the bottom, just <laughs> take him home for it if he forgets it. It's like when you used to go to school and you forgot your PE kit, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, but no. <laughs> do you remember that school? You used to have to do PE in your pants, didn't you? So if you don't bring in your, in your foil shirt tomorrow, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> Oh, that happened to me all the time at school. Yeah, or you, or even worse than that, you, had, you used to have to go to lost property, didn't you? And you used to have to put on someone else's clothes. Oh, and you used to have the slightly. No, I won't talk about it because you might, you might be having your, your dinner. Oh no, I'm not doing over again. Craig, okay, over to you. What I just done there, you could see that that die cuts into your cardstock. So I just snipped that bottom away, just right at the bottom. And then what I'm just going to do is just snip along the actual uh, fold of the card blank. So we're just going to just take that away. So then that gives you the tree at the side there. But then on this side just here, if we take that away, that then gives you all of the die cut tree. So that gives you the, the uh, elements just to finish off. Hang on a minute, I missed a bit. So that's the other side of the die, is it? That's the other side of the die. Oh, wow. So what will happen, if we take these bits out, take that one and then that one. So then what you would do is you'd come along and then that would then just position over the trees there, just add in that outline all yeah. the way around. So we're going to do that just shortly with the other bits. But what I'm going to do is set that one to the side. We're going to do this again on the inside of the card. So what I'm doing now is, on the inside, again, I've just popped uh, a wee bit of uh, a pencil line just to the side, just there. And then I'm just going to bring in my dies again. So if I just take this one. So once again, what I'm doing with this one is, let's just take, there's a couple of wee bits in the actual die. Now sometimes, might like me, you might be inclined to actually tap it against the side to get all the bits out. Don't do that because they're double sided. So ah. what will happen is you will uh, damage Dent the die. Yeah. So just use your pokey tool, any wee bits, and just uh, poke them out just there. So then what I'm doing now, so once again, the actual detail of the tree, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that to the side. Now, the pencil lines, that's just it. You can see that in case anyone's asking us, well, how far in do you pop them? It's just enough so that it actually just has the die at the edge you can see there. So if I just tape that one into place, so if I tape that one and then that one, and then what I'm also going to do, let's just pop a bit at that side. And then once again, all that we're doing is we're popping another bit of the gold card. It's not a specific size other than it's enough just to cover that tree. So once again, we've got our base cutting plate. We've got our uh, extra tough plate. So then what we're going to do is pop our plate once again over the top and then our top cutting plate. 
Now, just like you would do with your uh, Gemini dies, even with these uh, double-sided tough dies, uh, flip and rotate the plates each time. But trust me, you know, I've had, uh, or I've still got, the two original A4 and A5 ones from um, when they first came out. Yeah. That just shows you how tough that they are. Um, lots of people loving the cards. Um, you're going to see some great demos over the course of the show. Kathy says, beautiful cards. And Cecilia on Facebook says, double-sided dies is why I brought the Gemini brand. Um, my machine just wasn't cutting it. So there, there you go. Uh, and also Mary says, uh, more people looking forward to the show tomorrow. I love foil press. Foiling makes any card look very elegant and you will see lots of elegance tomorrow uh, when we do all of that uh, foil pressing and also when craig wears his foil press shirt um obviously just to remind you bottom of the screen uh, details there of your uh, double-sided die cutting plate sheets you will need you've got the um your larger plates and you've also got the plate specific to your gemini junior um as well usually 19.99 16.99 today or 21.20 so you're saving what three pounds three dollars uh, whichever way you go on that so you just cut into the the, um, the cards look again. Oh yeah, I see the other side. That's the other it. side of the card. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got one now on the left hand side, and we've also got one at the right hand side. So we've also then got that detail of the tree. You can see there. So let's put these wee bits out. So we've also got the two of them. But then you've got these wee bits as well that you could be using elsewhere. That you've got the trees there, so we could be using them. So let's move that one to the side. So what I've got is I've got the trees. All already die cut and I've just run them through our Xyron but you could be using your dotty tape runner if you want. So we're just going to place these ones over the top. Now the one thing we've not said in this show Ben is our double sided dies are uh, patented, I can never say the word, patented, patented by us at Crafters Companion so you will only find the double sided dies with us. Amazing. So you will uh, find some of incredible detail when it comes to the different dies. So I'm just popping that on, just there. So then you can see now that that just finishes off the tree just nicely. So let's fold that one over. Let's take this next one. And then we're just carefully going to just peel that one off. And then once again, we're going to overlap that one just like so. So if we pop that one into place, then all that I've got is just a couple of bits of pattern paper. And then I'm just going to use my tape runner and then I'm just going to add this on to the side. So if we add it on just there. Okay. Just to the side. And then once again, let's take this one. We're just going to add our tape. So if we add this one on, just like so. <laughs> um, just had a message from June on Facebook. who said, I would be careful, Ben, or you may get a foil shirt of your own. Is that, you is, that, never is that a know. threat or a promise? <laughs> you never know. Oh dear. I'm just looking forward to it. You know, all the hype that we've given you now, I just hope it is something something very, very uh, special. But to my shirt or to the Foil Press show? Well, well, I mean, all of it, to be honest with you. I was excited about the Foil Press show, but now the fact that you're going to turn up in your special Foil Press shirt, I mean, that just makes me even more excited uh, for uh, for one o'clock. What, 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 hang on a minute, I'll be buying what, a Foil Press or a Foil Press shirt? Are you a foil press? Fine. I will. Yes, I'm. I'm sure that I will want one. You, just be. Just to be sure here, you can't buy a foil press shirt, can you? No. Those aren't. Those aren't no. available. No. Although if you're into your sewing and soft crafts, then you uh, might be able to make your own one. Oh yeah, yeah. Why not? Because I have got my sewing machine now, haven't I? You Bernie do. brought me a sewing machine in um, uh, in between shows, so I'm going to uh, take that home and try and work out how it all works uh, over the course of the weekend um, when I'm at home with my daughter. So looking forward to that. I see Derek's obviously doing his craft on his Facebook page. You know, I'm going to try and get into a little bit of sewing and put some sewing, uh, yeah, you know, quilting and I don't know. I don't know what's the easiest thing that you can do when you start when you start sewing. Maybe make, make like a cushion cover or some bun, bun, bunting. Maybe bunting's a good place to start, isn't it? Ben's bunting. That's Ooh, good. There you yeah. go. It's a nice yeah. sign line for you, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's that's the job for the weekend. Anyway, look at your car. There's me. There's enough about me talking about bunting. There that we is go. Lush. So those uh, couple of Christmas trees that die cut out with the center, I've just popped them back over the top using some foam pads. And then I've just uh, added a die cut sentiment, added a bow to the top. So you can see there, there's plenty of room for you to write your message if you wanted to, but just a double way in which you can use the double sided dies. And there we are. Um, remember, if you are going for the double sided dies, the uh, layerable dies, but see, 
No, that wasn't me. You guys have set some sort of traps up in the studio here and you, you've put things out that they're gonna fall over. What? No, I didn't even touch that. I was nowhere near it. Did, did, did no one tell Ben that we've got a, a secret Ant and Dec show going on? You know, uh, Ant and Dec, I'm a celebrity, get out my ear. Is that what it is? That's what it is. Oh, They're right. going to come running yeah. in in a minute. Yeah. Um, Listen, if you are going to go for any of the um, layerables, then make sure you go for those plates as well. If you haven't got those plates, you will need them. Um, you can go for the full bundle, but they're also available individually as well. Um, so it's entirely how you want to go. You, you're going to get all six of these for £65. You've seen how nice and easy it is to use, but if you want to go individually, a lot of love for the um, Christmas cards that um, uh, Craig was showing us then just a few moments ago. Uh, if you want to go for those individually, you can um, details uh, coming up on the uh, the screen for you there so there you are your Christmas tree individually $24.99 or $32.99 so you can kind of see the saving that you're making by going for the whole bundle however we do know that sometimes you just want one or a couple from a particular bundle um, we've shown you the snow flowy this one here of course is your string of lights We've then got your um, delightful decorations as well. If you want to go for that individually, uh, you can do $12.99. We've then also got my absolute fave, the dashing through the snow. Uh, all of these actually, yes, $12.99. And then finally, the Bethlehem Skylight. So if you, maybe you're seeing these for the first time and you don't want to kind of commit to buying the whole bundle, then you can go for these. Uh, two for £22 or $25 um, if you want to do it that way. Um, Lots of you are going that way as well. It's entirely up to you and how you want to do it. But remember, if you haven't got those plates as well, um, it is worth putting those in because you will need those. Uh, whether it is for your, uh, your Gemini or your Gemini Junior, we've got those plates available for you. Also, very handy to go for are your uh, glues. We've got your uh, your wet adhesives and your dry adhesives, if you like, if you want to call them that. We've got um, this bundle is fantastic value for money. We were discussing this before the show as well. When you consider you're getting two bottles of your tacky glue, um, two of your um, coral, and you've also then got four of the fine tip glue applicators as well. Very, very handy indeed. You know, if you are going to be gluing those more. Um, uh, sort of detailed dies, you know, difficult to get your glue nozzle on um, usually. These have got those very fine um, sort of applicators to allow you to do that and you're going to get four of those with the glues. That's what it's all about. It's all about less mess and less stress. £15 or $28, that's a heck of a buy. It's a 25% saving, um, whichever way you go with that. If you are also after more tape, you've got the ability to do that as well. We've got your, um, your glue tape pen and we've got your dotty tape pen as well. 22 meters on each of these. And again, we were chatting about this earlier. Value for money-wise, that's amazing because normal tape pens, what, about nine to 12 meters, something like that, I think we were saying? So it is, you'll find that most of them are, are, are between the, the 10 and 12 meters. So even with one pen, you know, if you were looking at it and calculating it that way, you're kind of getting double a traditional pen within one of ours. You know, it really, really is unbelievable. Um, so you're getting two of those and and you're also going to get uh, three of your low tack tapes as well with that dispenser which is super handy so you know great for sticking down uh, your dies making sure they don't move you, you can use them on your stencils of course um, and all sorts of other things too eight pounds and 97 pence for all of that again phenomenal value 30 percent off is the saving there 12.95 and unbelievably i haven't knocked it over this time no round of applause for that unbelievable um, next up, let us remind you of the uh, the stamp bundle. Now these are your quirky stamps. I will uh, rattle through these for you because uh, we're going to be seeing these I think in Craig's next demo. The value for money on this again is phenomenal. £18.50 or £25.50, 20% saving. So these are quirky. Yes, you've got your Merry Christmas. Okay, I love that kind of Merry Christmas, the explosion. Not the, not the, not the quirkiest one, you know, within the, uh, within the set, but it is kind of like a Merry Christmas, isn't it? It's like an explosion of Christmas. Um, then we've also got in here the more quirky ones, like Naughty is the New Nice. Um, also in this collection, uh, keep calm and get your ho, ho, ho on. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, we've also got, I'm Santa's favorite in this collection. You, this is my favorite of the, uh, the whole collection because I love that little snow globe that you've got uh, inside the sentiment. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. 
didn't join me on that one, did you? Um, you've got the Christmas tree included as well, which is, oh no. Do you want me to read? No, I've got my glasses on. No, no. It's not what's under the tree that matters. It's who's gathered around it. Ah. Uh, also in this, you've got, sorry Santa, but naughty just feels so nice. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've got sweet but twisted. Does that make me a candy cane? And you've also the one got dance I decide to do. And you um, cut back at me at the wrong bit. And and finally, <laughs> I actually prefer the dance you were doing a little earlier on, which was uh, it was more like the uh, the Carlton from the Fresh Prince. Remember that? Oh, well, that was similar. What was I yeah, to do? It yeah, it was yeah, similar. it was actually. Do you know what? Talk, talking about people say, saying, you know, we should do a CD, maybe we should do a music video as well. We'll record the CD and then you can do the dancing in the video as well. Oh no, because I can't dance and with I can't your, sing. With your foil pressure foil on. Foil pressure. I can wear the foil pressure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe some flares might kind of, um, you know, set it off as well. I'm quite looking forward to that. Anyway, uh, whatever way, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. You know, that's what I'm telling you. Words to live by right there. All of those you get, 20% off, 18.50 or 25 pounds and 50 pence for that stamp collection. And also worth noting, if you're going for that and you, you know, you kind of fall out of love with stamping just a little bit because you can never quite get it where you want it to go, go for our um, eight by eight stamping platform as well with the magnetic um, base, because that is super handy. More details on that to come in just a second, but here he is, uh, all singing, all dancing, with his amazing foil shirt. It's Quirky Craig! I love that, that's good. For the record, I was trying to do the Mr. Bean dance. Oh, Mr. The Bean! Mr. Bean dance. Mr. Bean. You know the one where he goes? Yeah. Like yeah, that. He did, yeah, and the Mr. Bean he, one. Yeah, that one. Oh, there you go. Anyway, so, moving on. Let's move on. We were using the uh, Quirky Sentiment and a relatively quick card, but it's just to show you how you can use the actual sentiment as the focal point of your card. So what I've got is I've just got a piece of our uh, white smooth stamping card. So if you want to know, it is four inches by two inches. So okay. I've already got it cut to size. So we're just going to pop it on. So what I'm just going to do is just hold it down with my magnetic discs so you can see that one. And then all that I'm doing is if we take that one off, and then we're just going to position that just into place. So we're just going to even just move these out just so we can get the sentiment into place. And as you can see, uh, we have used our quick dry beforehand. They do come clear, but it has stained it. Don't worry, that's normal and uh, your stamp will still work perfectly. Okay. So then what I'm doing is I'm just going to pop that one over the top and I'm just going to lift that one up, he says. These stamping platforms are invaluable as well, aren't they? They are, they are so good. And now, what I am just looking, because just before you came back to me a minute ago, yeah. I used um, a wipe to clean it, and I've not dried it, so that's why the stamp's not sticking, so. I can't help you with the towel, I got no. you the, the, the wipe we did, a minute we ago. We did have some kitchen roll, but I don't know, that'll maybe get Well, I haven't got any over here. So, let's try again. And if we just lift it up, there we go, so that's lifted up that way just there. So then what I'm actually doing is I'm going to use our uh, Midas, our metallic pigment ink pad, the Jade Green. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to use it as it is, but with this one, this is a good one if you want to maybe add extra, um, extra even sparkle to this one. So once you've stamped it, you could go over the top with your um, clear embossing powder, Okay. melt that one. Because this is classed as uh, a sticky ink, so what that'll do is that'll hold your embossing powder and then you can add that extra colour to it. Of course, you could use different colours, but pretty pointless using a different colour over a top of a green. But if you use the clear one, then that's just going to show off that green even more. Lovely. So you can see that one just there. Don't get your tinsel in a, in a tangle. tangle. So what I'm just going to do is move that one to the side for the moment. So if I pop that one just there, and then just, I've got couple so just bits. to make your stamps as well, yeah. going right back to the basics. So are you cleaning those off every time that you've you've used them as a matter of course to get the best out of them? Well, this, this is something that comes up every now and again. So I don't uh, usually clean my stamps. What, what I was meaning when I was cleaning is I was cleaning the actual uh, stamping platform. When it comes to our stamps, now 
Our pigment ones, yes, I will use uh, a, a baby wipe, one that I use time and time again. I know more and more people are obviously getting more uh, environmentally uh, cautious. Yeah. So what you can do is, or conscious, should I say, what you can do is again, re-wet it each time or just some uh, warm water just to clean it. So I will do the pigment ink pads, but when it comes to the quick dry or it comes to the water reactive, any of the other ones, what I actually do, Ben, is, let's get a bit of scrap. So let's just pretend that this has still got some ink on it, uh -huh. you know, water reactive, quick dry, anything like that. I don't actually clean them. What I just do is do kind of like a uh, second and third out. generation just to get that ink yeah, off. Yeah, good tip. And then it just means that, one, you don't have to worry about cleaning it. The stamps will still be absolutely fine. If you get ink into any of the wee detail, then of course you can uh, clean them or that. If you are using a baby wipe, what would you say is just try and make sure it's uh, alcohol free. You know, although our stamps, polymer or our acrylic are incredible, but over time, and when I say over time, I mean like years and yeah, years. Yeah. If you're constantly using something with alcohol in it, like your wipes with alcohol, it can start to burn down the actual stamp. So it's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, that's what I do with any of the other inks. I just stamp them multiple times. Top tips for you there. Brilliant. Um, lots of messages coming in. Loads of people looking forward to the Foil Press 101 tomorrow. Um, April on uh, YouTube says, please address overfoiling tomorrow. Uh, that happens to me a lot. Uh, and lots of people loving all of the demos as well, um, including Diana and Brenda, um, Linda and Pamela, everybody loving all of the goodies that we've got on the show. And Stephanie says, I'm very glad that you're demoing these sentiments. Brilliant, yeah. So what we're going to do is just finish that one off. And as you just said there, you know, who was that that said it was uh, like to see them being demoed? Uh, Stephanie Theodos on Facebook. It's, uh, it's good to show them as well, because sometimes when we've had them in the past, um, we kind of... Is it naively? You know, we understand a lot of uh, crafters out there have already got them, but we're always getting new uh, viewers and customers you yeah. know, every day. So it's maybe something that you've not seen before. It's maybe something that a time that you've really wanted them, but you've just obviously, when it comes to money, you were just uh, being cautious, you know, just selecting different things. Maybe this is now the time that you want to get them and just see what you can do with them. Then this is what you can do. So I've just used Chinese red water reactive just to do a bit of blending. And then I've just taken a gold pen. You can just see it there. Now what you could use, um, you know the craft kit we had yesterday, Ben, with oh, the yes. metallic pens? Uh -huh. You could use that one for all the way around. Okay. Just to finish that detail there. So then all that we're going to do is let's take that one. I've got some of my uh, glitter card, shedless glitter card. So this is when glitter card, what I would do is I would use our uh, tacky glue. Yep. I would usually use a double-sided tape and then tacky glue on the top because what this does is dries into the fibre of the uh, glitter card as well as your white smooth cardstock and once it's dry you know that it's going to be absolutely uh, rock solid in place. So the, the glitter card as well die cuttable without shedding I guess is it? It is yeah, yeah, yeah. completely sheddable when it comes to the glitter card whether it's simple shapes whether it's detailed shapes and intricate dies you know it will die cut. If you do sometimes have a bit of difficulty with some of the dies, die cut in the shedless glitter card, this is where our uh, metal shim for our Gemini comes into place. Ooh. Just add the Gemini and you're going to be good um, to go. Here's a really good question whilst you're just putting this card together from Patricia on Facebook who says, I have a question for Craig. Why do they, uh, you I suppose as well, why do you or they start inking on the glass mat approaching the paper and why circular motions? Yeah, I've noticed that because when, you, when you're doing that, you always start off, don't you? Off, off the actual project and then you kind of work onto it. Is that to get a bit of the ink off before you start? Do you know what actually what it is? It's something you don't actually need to do with our water reactive ink pads. It's something that we used to do years ago. And what I'll do is let's just finish this one. I'll show you what I mean just by adding a ribbon. So I've just added the sentiment you can see there and just add a bit of ribbon Gorgeous. just to finish it off. So a nice small card equally could be a tag. You know, you yeah. could be using that one just there. So you can see that nice card done, just nicely done. But as yes. you were so just we can saying, have a look at that, that'd so be great. We've got, if we bring in our uh, ink pad that you can see just here. Now, with our ones, what you can do is just go straight onto our cardstock. So this is our white smooth card, and you can go straight onto your card and start to blend it all out. So we're just 
uh, adding the ink, going straight onto the cardstock and see how it starts to just blend in. So you're just going to go straight over the top and then the more colour you add, the more you start to just blend in the ink. So all that we're just doing is just adding that on. However, what we would uh, say is before, uh, even before we came along, if you've got your uh, square um, water ink pads, you know the uh, the other ones from um, Mr. Holtz. Oh yes. What you tend to do years ago is we were kind of to get the best absolute uh, application of the water reactive uh, or water ink pads. What you would tend to do is start onto your glass mat. Now I'm not sure if maybe you want to come close up, um, Dan, just so you can see. So what we would just do, so you're going to just, uh, in a moment, we're just, there we go. So can you see how we've got our blending tool at an angle? Yeah. And what we're kind of always uh, showing or taught, just gently come onto your cardstock and start to blend onto your card that way. And really, to be honest with you, it's kind of like habit that I still do that. It's simple habit after years of doing that one. But again, that's how you're kind of always shown. But then, you know, we come along with our ink pads, which are awesome. So then all that I'm just going to do is just going to go straight over the top, just like so, and we've gone straight on, flat down, over the top, and then we've got that way. So that is really the only reason that I tend right. to start with the glass mat. Well, there you go, Patricia. Hopefully that's answered your question. There um, has been a lot of, um a lot of uh, love for the tinsel and the tangle um, stamp set, which we showed you a few moments ago. Uh, Diana says, so love that stamp. Kathy says, I love the tinsel and the tangle. And Stephanie, loving your tip about the alcohol and the baby wipes. Said, um, good tip, Craig. I did not know about the alcohol and the baby wipes. Um, a lot of love for that glitter card as well, which you touched on a few moments ago. Tracy on Facebook, uh, love Crafters Companion glitter card. We can have a quick look at that, um, actually. It, we've got the three different colors for you. So basically, just to recap on this, um, it, it is glitter card to the point. These are available indiv individually, or we've got them on a, a multi-buy as well. So um, three for £10 or $14 or £3.99 uh, individually, nearly, nearly not that off again, didn't I? Nearly not that off again. So we've got the royal blue available for you. We've uh, also got the um, uh, 10 sheets of that available for £3.99 if you want to go for them um, individually. Then we have the ivory. And again, remember, so you can um, die cut with this and you're not gonna find that you're getting glitter shedding all over the place. It's um, it, it's it, it's glitter card, but not as you might imagine, I exactly, guess. Exactly, that's it, it's all encapsulated. And also just to say as well, so for instance, that one, the ivory, that's going to work perfectly with our ivory Centura Pearl. So they're made to, uh, actually you can see it in the top corner of the glitter card uh, in your hand there. There we go, if we bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it. There we go, just in that top corner. Where it says Creative Cravens, it says designed to work perfectly for your Centura apparel. So you've got your ivory, and then we've also got uh, your copper as well. 10 sheets of that, uh, $3.99 or any three for $10 or 14, uh, sorry, 10 pounds or $14. Right, um, let's talk about some sparkle. Um, so the, um, the sparkle inks, we've got, um, we've got a bundle for you and then we've got an individual for you as well. First time I've actually seen these um, sparkle inks on the show. So um, first of all, what are we gonna be using these for? So if you like to do all your backgrounds, if you like to do your uh, backgrounds with your uh, sparkle pens, now what we've got, we've had them out for a few years, it's our sparkle pots. Exact same ink that's in the sparkle pens, but obviously they're in a wee container, so it's easier to do your techniques if you want to use your water brushes. You know, do your backgrounds. There's lots of ideas and inspiration on our YouTube where we can use the salt technique. So you uh, layer the ink down, sprinkle some rock salt, let it dry, and then that just uh, kind of like soaks up all of the inks, you get great backgrounds. You can do the same with cling film, lots of different other materials out there, but then you can, of course, you can uh, color when you're doing your stamped images. Uh, you can do all your different um, variety of colors. You can do blending, you can do mixing. We've even got the clear one where you can do the clear overlays. So in this particular bundle, you've got three of your um, crystal clear, and then you've also got uh, your perfect pastels included as well. Uh, that is your uh, moonstone in there. You've got your cosmos, 
and you have got let's have a look here where is he moonstone cosmos and rose quartz there we go oh that would uh, work with our bundle from earlier on wouldn't it um 18 pounds or 27 dollars it's a 30 percent saving um across the board on those which is rather good and then because we're on a bit of a festive theme at the moment aren't we i mean we are certainly doing lots of christmas goodies for you so this might be a perfect set to go for if you are particularly in the uh, christmas mood it's a set of three um your crispy, uh, Christmas Sparkle, which is your festive spruce. You've got your um, sleigh bell, and you've got your glacé cherry. Is that you said? I never had to say that. Is that gla glacé? Is it? it is glacé, not glace. Glace cherry, mate. Nice bit of glace cherry. All right, mate. Um, Eleven pounds or fourteen dollars again. Fifteen percent saving there for those, which is a really good deal. Um, I've not seen these before, so I think we're going to have a uh, a little look and see how all of these work. So you've got uh, got one of those over there. I do, yeah. So what I thought we would do, actually, I've just salvaged that bit that we just done a minute ago with uh, the dis distressing. So we'll use uh, the clear one, but then what I'll do just after that is we'll go to the uh, perfect pastels and I'll show you how you can even just start to blend, kind of do an ombre effect with uh, the other ones. So this one, exactly what you would uh, know and love from uh, the clear sparkle pens, but it's just in the pot. Though so this one, because it was the Chinese red, all that I'm just literally going to do yeah. is I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in and I'm going to go over the top. Now, because it's water reactive, you'll still get that sort of um, blending effect, the distressing effect, because obviously we're going over with a liquid. But then if I just leave it just like that, then what will happen is that starts to dry. You've got all that sparkle that yeah. comes all the way through. So Can I'll you heat that or not? Are you... You, you can do. Yeah. You can do if you wanted to. Uh, what will happen is if you heat set that, then it will start to curl, which right, is fine. Yeah. Just uh, put something heavy on top just to uh, flatten it out. Obviously, if you leave it as it is, then what will happen, it will dry nice and flat. But I can already start to see that sparkle just absolutely bouncing through. So we'll leave it to the side and then we'll come back to that one in a moment. Then what we can just do is let's bring in the uh, perfect pastels, the one where you're getting the moonstone, the cosmos Ooh. and rose quartz. So let's use all three of them. So we've got our, uh, this is our watercolour cardstock. So I can't remember if it's actually on the show. If not, be on the website. We're going to have a little look, see, see if it is. Oh, now what are you doing there? There's a bit of, there's a ball bearing in them. Right. And what happens is, so I'm going to do this to show you not to do it. So what to do is you've got all that kind of like all that sparkle pigment just at the bottom, just yeah. there. So you want to activate it. So what I would say is, you know, don't shake it because then that's, you start to bubble and foam along the top, you yeah. know, and then that's where you're not going to get a nice even, see how you're getting oh, just like yeah. that. So swirl it. Swirl it, yeah. That's what I, so this is, I always do this, even when we come on at live, you'll always see me doing this. I just, let's me go in that way, there we go. And then I'm just, I just do all three of them and just circle round and round. There <laughs> Look at we him go. go. He's done that before, is not he? He's done that before. That is me live as well. So I, I probably should have just uh, done a bit of pre-warning for uh, any yeah. of your eyes. But it just lets you see. That's how. Sorry I for those of you who get it. motion sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what I'm just doing is because we've got our watercolour card, so whether it's the sparkle inks, whether it's the sparkle pens, whether it's your aqua pens, any of our water, um, or one, any of our, um, our uh, gosh, Sparkles, my mind's, pens. Yeah. water pens, that's what I'm trying yeah. to think. Uh, just put a layer of water down on the watercolour card. Uh -huh. And then what I'm just going to do is let's go for, let's use the cosmos first and then we'll go for the rose quartz and then we'll go with the moonstone so actually let's use the rose quartz so what i'm just going to do is if we then just dip our paintbrush in is, is the point of this then so opposed to like this so the sparkle pens uh, you'd use those i guess then for more intricate work and detail and i guess this is just to give you more more coverage yeah, it's Awkwardly. exactly the same ink that's in the pens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've got that coverage. It's a lot more easier. So what that just means is what I'm doing just now, you absolutely can do with your uh, sparkle pens. Yeah. It's just obviously because it's a finer nib, it also means that, you know, uh, you're not going to get a bigger coverage so quickly. Um, or likewise, whatever you do with your sparkle pens, you can do with these sparkle inks. You would just need to use a finer ink. Uh, that a one finer you put in the middle there. I love that colour. It's really nice, isn't it? It's yeah. really nice. But all that I'm just doing is I'm going straight over the top that you can see just here. Nothing uh, specific. It's got all of that sparkle within it. So that's so, your moonstone. Yeah, that's the moonstone. Yep. 
So I've just kind of layered the three colours. Nothing uh, hard or uh, difficult that I've just done there. And then all that I'm just doing is just uh, kind of cleaning my brush. And then all that I'm just going to do is just take some of that extra water off. I'm just going to come all the way down and I'm just going to just kind of like blend as we get into each section. So even then you can just go back over that bit if you want. Start to blend that one in. Now if I take some just a bit of uh, the actual ink off. Let's just go back into that one. So just start to actually blend in the three in. If you want to go back and add a wee bit more uh, color, why not, you can do. So we're just gonna pop that one on. When you are happy enough with it, if you wanted to add a wee bit extra sparkle, why not go back over the top yeah. with your uh, clear overlay. Let's just do that. So let's just give that a bit of a swirl. So really what you're doing, what I've just done with the water, you could do with the actual sparkle. And then that's then just going to um, give you that blending ombre effect, but it's going to double the sparkle look. So then we're so just you, going so to- So did you say, so you add add more of the clear sparkle on top of the uh, colorful, colored sparkle, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. So what I just but done wait a moment for, would ago- Would you wait for it to dry? Uh, no, you can go straight over the top. Okay. So what you would just do is just replace the water with your sparkle pot and then that just means you're still going to get that um, uh, ombre effect you know that three-tone effect but just means you're going to get that extra sparkle but then what you can do is let's just now this is a uh, Dyson with death here oh, hello. So all that I'm just doing I'm just all I'm doing is just picking some water up onto my fingertips and then I'm just going to just flick so if you've got our spectrum noir our uh, spritzing tool then of oh, course yeah, you can that. use that. But then all that I'm just doing is I'm just flicking all that water. And what that does is that's your water resist. So you're just starting to resist all of that ink. It's picking it up. Gorgeous. If you had kitchen roll or, you know, anything like that, just dab it over. The longer you leave it, the more it lifts. Uh -huh. But then what I'll just do, just for a bit of time, let's just take some of that excess off and then just lift it up and then look at that effect Ooh, here. But then yeah. look at that. Oh, Keep then, a hold of that uh -huh. one and use that one as well. Cut it, emboss it, yeah. but then you've got that resist effect. Let that dry, and that's just one very simple technique. As I say, if you go onto our YouTube, there's so many, you know, look at rock salt, look at, you know, your cling film or sarang wrap, I think you call it across in the States. Look at all these different ones. There's so much, and it's so much fun as well. Um, loads of love for the sparklings. Um, Christine Mahoney on Facebook says, I love those sparklings. Um, Eleanor says, I love those sparklings. They're so much fun to work with. So glad you're using those inks, says Melissa on Facebook. I got some in the Spectrum bag and was unsure how to use them. Um, quick question here from Janine on YouTube who says, I use the Finesse alcohol ink to stamp an image and then colour with tri blends. Wanted to give it some sparkle, so used the sparkle pen, but it moved the ink. Uh, what else could I have used? So if you use the Finesse alcohol proof ink to stamp what you would then need to do is because obviously you're using water with the sparkle you're going to have to use the finesse waterproof ink pad to stamp with and then what that'll do is that will stop it from uh, smudging all your uh, black lines or your outside lines and then what did you color with sorry um sparkle pen the sparkle pen so yeah so then that'll just enable you to actually color in the middle without any of that detailed outside line uh moving so if you use your finesse waterproof ink pad there we go um keep those coming in any questions oh look at this now, i'm very excited here because this oh, wow. is my f this is the first telfy i've been sent so i'm very so this is your telfy right so you take a picture of yourself oh, a telfy. In front of the, yeah it's I've never, heard, I've never heard of that before. i just learned you something haven't i so sarah's thing is is a telfy so you take a picture of yourself like michelle has done here in front of your telly watching us on crafters tv and then You've got a Telfy. Michelle, thank you so much. Officially, you're my first tel Telfia, Telfy, Telfy person. So that I is awesome. Um, I love that. Uh, we've also got another picture from Cecilia. Uh, breaking my heart. <laughs> Daily. Um, so this is with the uh, creator card collection, isn't it? Yes, now, the Star of Wonder. Oh, hello, at, Craig's getting excited. Look yes. at that, Ben. So we'll come back to me in a moment. Right. So uh, just that one we just showed you, keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind. All right, because... Well, uh, 
Craig, Craig's getting very, in fact, let's get back to Craig now because uh, he's, he's very excited. So that one we just seen a moment ago, yeah, start that background that, uh, that I cut into is very similar to that one. So create your own backgrounds using the, uh, yeah, the inks. Yeah, yeah. And no, not, not that one you've got, in this, the one that was before that one. The one, Which that's one? it. There, there we go. So use your backgrounds and then uh, die cut into them. And then just to say as well, in case anyone's wondering, someone did uh, send me a telfy uh, oh, the so other day. Oh, you don't know what a telfy is. But I didn't know it was, it was called telfy. It was oh. just a picture on my Facebook. So I'm just, I'm waiting to load it load it up can i tell you whilst you're finding that yeah um so i didn't know of telfies before i was here and one of the best telfies i ever had before i knew it was called a telfie i was working on another channel and a guy um sent me a telfie of uh, right of a, <laughs> oh a guy sent me a telfie but he had a donkey right no word of no 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 i'll find the picture no no word of like i'll find the picture in a minute i need to get where's my phone gone he sent me he's got a, he's this guy what was his name he's got this donkey anyway and it's got like a donkey flap so he can come in and out of the house and his donkey a donkey flap yeah instead of a dog flap or a dog flap a cat flap he's got a donkey flap and the donkey loved watching me on the tv so he sent me a picture of the donkey in his house with me on the back me in the background on the tv <laughs> no no it, my, number, no my biggest fan wasn't a donkey but i'm just telling you that i've had a uh. selfie with a donkey um which is all very exciting isn't it <sighs> Can I go get my phone and go and find it? Craig, yeah, Craig no, you just, just, you just, uh, yeah, go on, Craig, yeah. show your, show oh. your. So then, yeah, just it. to say, uh, Christine Fazio, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, yeah. uh, sent me a picture yesterday. I've just, I've still got to comment on uh, my Facebook wall, but sent a telfy where she was watching uh, Sarah on HSN on her TV, and then down at the bottom there, she was watching myself and Ben yeah. uh, yesterday. So there we go, I've got a telfy. And then just to say, I've got a few to respond to, but uh, Mal, uh, just to say to you, no, you don't have to just have the Gemini Junior for your foil press. You can use your large Gemini that you've got, but we'll go over all that tomorrow as well. So I think we're going to see, we're going to see this uh, we, donkey. We, we will. Let me find it, but I think we also need to kind of uh, move well, on. Well, see, to, while you uh, uh, show that, will I show you else. some finished samples? Oh, that's a good uh, idea. I, I like that, yeah. So we've got some of these ones. So going back to the edge walls to give you some ideas. So whether it's just using your alphabet, so a nice cut. That could be even for uh, your Christmas table if you want to pop someone's name on it. There is the scene that obviously uh, Ben was looking at earlier on. So again, layering up and building the scenes as well. So then let's just bring in a few more. So if you want to do your diorama cards, then you can do it as well. But then there's the Christmas tree that we use. So there's where we've used the glitter card as well as the uh, we've used uh, red satin card. And then we've just created that concept. So a couple more, and I think Ben has found the picture yeah, it's of, like, uh, it's see, whenever uh, you see donkey, I just think of Shrek. There we go. It's not the most flattering picture of me, but look, there's me on the telly, that and is... there's the donkey. There you go. The... Yeah, there's the donkey. You see? Yeah. Why are you looking at that? It's a donkey in a house watching me on the telly. What Don wonder we're looking at? Donkey Telfy. Donkey Telfy. Yeah. Like Donkey o Do like, like Donkey OT, but Donkey Telfy. <laughs> I don't know what the donkey was called. Probably no. Eeyore or something. Um, well, I, can't, well, I probably did ask at the time, but that was about 10 years ago, wasn't it? So anyway, back to all things normal. Enough talking about donkeys. Um, although, you know, donkeys, Little donkey, little donkey on the dusty road. Um, this is all about your interchangeable creator cards. Um, and again, you have got the ability to create beautiful Christmas tree cards. We've got snowflakes in here as well. We've got the beautiful um, Bethlehem scene in there. And I love, 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 love. Oh, um, and I, I absolutely love the um, the holly one which you've got in here as well. But your Christmas tree comes with the uh, three different sentiments. Seasons greetings. Um, you've also got in here, uh, happy holidays. I like that, happy holidays. And uh, Merry Christmas. 
So that's the first of the um, uh, collections that you've got within this main bundle. We've then got your, um, your star. This is the one that we saw uh, just a few moments ago, which I think I want to say it was Julia sent in. I might be wrong, uh, which gives you peace on Earth. You've got the joy to the world and star of wonder. So one pass cuts you all of this out. If you want to do it that way, if you want to be able to cut it separately, you can do. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Believe in the magic and winter wishes comes with your beautiful snowflake. And then, here it is, I love this one. So much detail um, on your uh, holly with, uh, deck the halls. With bars of holly, la 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 la. Jolly holidays, and tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. All of that included, so again, so nice for you to be able to take the actual frame and then interchange the different sentiments within the collection as well. £78 or $90, it's a £21 saving or a $41 saving if you are watching in the States. Huge value for money. Really great time to get on board and grab these if you haven't already. You can go for them individually if you want to. And uh, we've also got a deal on the, um, the multi-buys as well. Uh, two for forty-two fifty, um, or fifty-five dollars. Two for fifty-five dollars if you want to do it that way. So plenty of scope for you if you just want to give it a try and go for the one. If you want to build your own bundle, you can do that as well. But if you love them all, go for this main collection. Look at the saving you're making today. Should be close to a hundred pounds and over a hundred and thirty dollars. It's a massive saving, and it's the kind of collection that you will come back to year on year on. Year. Um, impressive results each and every time. And again, you've seen how easy it is to use. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, and then. Did you hear that? <sighs> um, yeah, so make sure you grab that. If you don't want to go for your um, creator card Christmas collection, we do have other goodies for you on the show as well. Well, let's, um, let's have a look at the glue bundle because this has been proving quite popular. Um, great value for money. I didn't realise, you see, I mean, I knew that sort of £15 uh, or eight, uh, $28 for the lot was great, but I didn't realise how expensive the individual um, bottles of glue can be. And you get the full range here. So you've got uh, two bottles of your ta uh, tacky glue. Um, you've also, so that one, yeah, that one uh, dries clear. You've also got your um, collar glue, your all purpose, your universal glue, I suppose, if you like. And then the brilliant thing about this bundle, not only have you got all these glues, but you've also got the fine tip glue applicators as well. You're getting two lots of the, um, the, the pair, so four, and basically it allows you to kind of fill these up. And if you've got more difficult kind of die cuts or intricate pieces of um, worked kind of glue, the needle on this is so precise, it's going to allow you to get the glue to exactly where you need it to go. 25% saving, £15 or $28. It's the kind of thing that you don't want to, um, you know, you're getting halfway through a product and you find out that you're out of glue. This is to make sure that that doesn't happen. And an absolute snip of a price, £15 or $28 is amazing. Also, we've got the dry glue set, yeah, as we're calling it, the dry tea set. I'm not going to knock it over again. And who was it you said earlier on? Someone, when we were talking about the dancing and singing, oh, Helen said on Facebook, uh, while Craig does his dancing in our music video, uh, Ben can be knocking displays over in time to the music. All right, all right. Um, you've, got your, you've got your glue tape pens in here, 22 meters on each of these. You've also got a, um, a dotty uh, glue pen in there, a glue Yes, glue pen as well, dotty tape pen in there as well uh, to allow you again to glue those more intricate designs. And then you've got your three rolls of your low tack tape as well, including those dispensers. Eight pounds and 97 pence is amazing value for money or 12.95 in the States. One other thing to show you, where's it gone? Oh, there it is is your uh, stamping platform, 8x8 stamping platform. This is awesome, seriously, because um, you know what, we've um, shown you lots of stamping on the show already today. If you are somebody perhaps who um, struggles to do stamping, whether that's because of dexterity issues or whether you just find the whole thing quite difficult, this is brilliant because it helps you to kind of line up your stamp to where you want it to go. And then if you do have that dreaded thing when you've lifted the stamp off the, t off the, um, you know, the project and you found it hasn't stamped correctly, it won't matter because you can simply pop it back down again um, to create that image. So great for kind of back stamping, um, great for precision each and every time that you use it. This is the um, 8x8 stamping platform and it comes uh, with the magnetic base for you as well. 
It's £24.99, it's 29 99 This is all about confidence when you're doing your stamping. It's all about actually if you've given up on stamping because you just can't get the hang of it, getting you back into stamping. And it's all about, uh, you know, if you are brand new to it, making it nice and easy for you as a beginner as well. And you will, yeah, you really will see the difference with this because it is so, so simple to use. You've got the measuring grid on there, of course, as well for uh, accuracy, and it is also in metric and imperial measurements. Um, so we will have a little look at this whilst you pop it in your baskets, 24.99, 29.99. Um, I think I've covered a few bits there, Craig, but in, in your own words, why particularly is it uh, beneficial to have one of these? So whether it's stamping right across the board, you're going to be using it time and time again. This really comes into its own. If you've got our layering stamps, the one with the 90 degree angle, or if you've got our big layering background stamps, then of course that's going to be perfect for them. And the reason it's going to be perfect for them, because you need to get them stamped pretty much bang on. Now, you know, if you're an experienced stamper, then you can get that done, you know, relatively easy following the grids on our stamping platform. But if you find it a bit hard, a bit tough sometimes, then this is where it's perfect. So what I'm going to do is I tend to do this um, demonstration quite a lot. So let's just bring in our stamping mat. We'll also bring in our uh, one of our uh, stamping platforms. So this is the medium one. Okay. Now this is by no way uh, does it kind of knock our other stamping platforms because we use them every day and uh, we will continue to use them. They're great for your smaller stamps. But I just want to show you an example. So let's just use, I'm using one of our uh, stamps that are our quirky sentiments. So this is our sweet but twisted. So what I'm just going to do, if you were to stamp this like you would normally, let's just go and pop it into place. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deliberately just um, miss a few bits by not bit doing pressure. So you can see, you see how I've missed bits all the way around just there. Now, yes. for me to try and re-ink that and impossible. get that bang, it, it is, I would say it's going to be near impossible. So with the stamping platform, so let's bring in another bit of card. So we're just going to bring this one in. Now you've seen me with the sentiment earlier on, just uh, one press stamp using the, uh, the stamp sentiment and I used it. It's great for your small ones as well. Use it wherever you want. Yeah. But this is where it is uh, just perfect. So I've got my cardstock. It doesn't have to be anywhere specific if I'm just going to show you this one. So it's on, in place and we've got our magnetic uh, discs just holding it in place. So let's do, oh, do you know something wrong actual uh, stamp platform? I need to put my larger one on. Oh, okay. You know, it helps me put the larger one on. So let's just add a bit more ink by pressing down. So what I'm then just going to do is I'm just going to stamp again. Let's pretend that I've missed a few bits. So again, round the edges, I've missed that. Yeah, it's now, not quite as good as it. It's yeah. not, no. That stays in place with the discs. Yeah. This is then, of course, staying in place. But because you've got these feet that go into all these alignments just at the bottom there, you know that it's going to go back exactly where you want it to be. Yeah. So we're just going to re-ink that again. Let's pop that over the top and then let's press. So this time what we can do is let's add a lot more pressure just to give a good firm stamp. Now look at that. That's more like it, isn't it? Absolutely yes. bang on. Perfect. So perfect for just a sentiment like this or any other your stamps. But again, keep in mind your uh, layering stamps with the 90 degree angle, the uh, bigger stamps where we've got the, the layered ones where it's the three stamps you layer them on top of each other. This is something you're going to use a lot. And actually, it's something that you'll probably just uh, stamp using the uh, bigger stamps. But trust me, I think you'll end up using this time and time again, either for your small sentiments holds it in place and it's going to be accurate every time. And great, as we said, you know what, if you are, um, you know, uh, batch stamping, you're making, I don't know, invitations or something like that and you've Absolutely. got a sentiment, and you've got to stamp and stamp and stamp again, it's perfect Absolutely. for that, isn't it? Because then what you could just do, so if you're using a specific bit of cardstock that you want to be in the same place, so again, let's just, I'll just roughly cut this one. So what you can then do, is using the grids that you can see just here. So you could then use a bit of tape or even just a marker pen just to mark what angle you're uh, using there. And then every time you come with your same bit of, or your bit of cardstock for your invites, pop it in the same place. Your stamp is already in place. So as you said, it's just going to stamp, move, put the next yep. one, stamp, move, and you know it's going to be stamped in the right place every time. Stamp and move, that's the crafting going to be the, uh, that, could be, that could be the title of our Christmas album, Festive, Stamp and Move. I love it. 
This is all coming together. Yes. Yeah, look at the dance moves. There he is. Uh, not only have we been giving you great hints and tips and demonstrations, but we've put together our album and music video as well. We've even got the title of it now. Available course, in summer. iTunes in a couple of years' time. Yeah. A couple of years? No, this one out for this Christmas. I would do it as well. All right, well, we, we, we will. Could be the yeah. Christmas number well, one. Well, I was going to say Christmas number one, but I yeah. suppose this year we don't have the X Factor to uh, no. compete with. So, you know, it's anyone's, uh, anyone's up for grab, isn't it? Anyone's game. Well, let, let's do it. Simon Cowell, who? <laughs> um, just very quickly to mention um, on the, uh, the uh, stamping platform, there's loads of love coming in for this. Wendy says, I've got the magnetic stamping platform. I absolutely love it. Helped with all of my stamping. And Helen on Facebook, this is brilliant, right? So, I mean, you, you can choose to take on board what we say, but when other people are saying it, listen to them because Helen says, I love the stamping platform. I hated doing any stamping until I got this platform. This is the truth. Now I love to stamp. So there you go. Patty's orders one, ordered one as well, waiting for my stamping platform to arrive. And Karen on YouTube says, I love the stamping platform. Thank you for all of these. Uh, Patricia, CTV, most entertaining today. You never know what they'll get up to. And Kathy on YouTube says, love it, Ben and the donkey. Ben and the donkey, eh? Right. Hey, me. Uh, no, no. That's no way to talk about Craig. <laughs> oh, dear. I think she's talking about... I think... Hey, don't... No, no, it's monkey, not monkey. donkey. Um, the picture of me and the donkey. Obviously, you're not the, the donkey. Now... The glitter card is also proving very popular. Who was it earlier on? Somebody was saying that um, up until uh, we, we brought sort of our glitter card out, they, they could never use it because they, they hated the feel of the glitter. Uh, but here, of course, yeah. it doesn't shed. It will die cut nice and easily for you as well. Um, and that is the thing with glitter, isn't it? Generally, it gets everywhere. It gets all over the floor. It gets all over. The, you get it on your, your, your hands and everywhere. Um, and then, you know, you're getting glitter in your hair and on your face. And, you know, you just don't need that in your life, do you? Here... Uh, you don't. You won't have any of that. Three ninety nine or five ninety five. We've got the royal blue, so you're getting ten sheets in each pack. However, if you love them all, like for example the ivory, you can pop this into your basket as well, and then you can pop in your um, final set, which is your copper, and you get three for ten pounds or three for fourteen dollars if you are in the states. Or yeah, actually entirely up to you if you want to get three lots of the ivory, you can, or two of one or one of the other. I mean, however you want to break it down, really. Don't let me tell you which ones to go for. Uh, get the ones which you love. $3.99 or $5.95. Wow. We have got, uh, whoa, just under 15 minutes remaining. So now is the time, if you've seen something you like, to get it in your basket, ch ch check it out, and take advantage of the deals that we've got. So many great deals on this show. If you've already got any of the goodies that we've got as well, send in those pictures and we'll show another round of them before the end of the show. Right. Craig. Yes. Do another demo. Let's do it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the creator cards and we're actually going to create a box. We're going to show oh. you how you can use the creator cards but into a box. So what we can do first is bring in our plate. So I have got uh, a piece of uh, cardstock. For anyone that's wondering as well, do not worry. I've checked and I've double checked and this is the top of the box. Right. Just saying. Okay. If you're unsure what you're on about, go back to YouTube and check out a couple of the <laughs> So we're going to die cut the top. So just in case anyone's wondering, I have cut this to seven and a half inches and I've scored in at three quarters of an inch all the way around, obviously on the lid side. And I've done the same, but for the base side. So the base is already done and this is definitely the lid. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop that on and then we're going to be using the holly. So for this one, what I'm going to do again, just using the die on its own. So this is going to cut into the card. Okay. So bringing in our low tack tape and we're just going to hold that into place just like that. And I think what we'll do actually, the last time I'd done this, this sentiment separate. So this time let's do it together and I'll show you what I mean by just making sure it's nice and secure. Do you say some people are a bit funny about putting... Um both of the the, the the frame and the sentiment through at the same time. Yeah, or any dies uh, together at the same time because what could happen is if that's not secured in place, as it runs through any die cutting machine, oh, you can swizzle around. If it was to jump, yeah, like that oh. and goes through because of the pressure, certainly with the Gemini, what you can then do is damage, damage the sentiment. The, right. So that's why a lot of people tend to do it separate, which is absolutely fine. And uh, if you're uncomfortable doing it together, I don't blame you. Yeah. 
but if you use our low tack tape and because it's low tack but it still has a good kind of like bite to it to hold mm -hmm. it in place so what i'm just doing is i'm just taping them into place and i do add a few extra pieces just to make sure that it all stays in place now ben i'm more than comfortable and positive that's more than safe that's okay it's not going to move and then what i'm just doing so wafer thin die, yeah. so popping that on again. So we're just going to use our plastic shim, magnetic, and then our top cutting plate. So we're going to run that one through, just layering up the plates. And then even then, just to show you, we're going to let that go through, but not all the way through. Once I hear that distinctive noise that it makes when it's actually finished going over the die, I'm going to press pause. There, that one. And then I'm just going to do the reverse. And then this is again going to show you. So it's giving you a double cut at the same time. But then also it just goes to show that I'm more than comfortable and confident with our low tack tape to hold it all into place. So it's then if we... <laughs> if we then remove oh, yeah there well, you can see quickly so swap it for another one <laughs> that's held in place absolutely fine and then if we peel all these bits off so we're just going to peel all that off and you can see we have now cut the outside and also the sentiment at one fantastic is that so you can see that one there yeah and then what we're just going to do is let's take this one and then we're going to bring in a piece of green card so this is what i was on about earlier on you do get your uh, die uh, release tool in the yeah. map that you'll find on the website but the whole the, the same people oh. people who do worry about it surely if you do tape it like you've just done the chance of it slipping is is minimal isn't it It really is it yeah. really is so if you need to do what i do and had a few extra bits of tape then do that no problem at all yeah but i'm just getting rid of these excess bits just to show you there just to show you just a moment ago if we come back to me this is what i was doing that you know in a cheat way as well i do tap the die at the side make sure you do the back leanne would have my guts for garters if she sees me doing this she Ooh. doesn't like it when people actually do not send uh, yeah. leanne a video <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm sending a video but you know it's uh, also certainly for us it's a quicker way just to tap it gets a lot of the excess out and any wee bit she can actually start to pop out so then what i'm just going to do now is let's bring in a bit of our uh, green card stock now i've still got a wee uh, few bits in now yes we do have our uh, die tools the brushes as well however it's just also for us as well it's a nice uh, quick way and to be honest i think sarah must have our one from the room yesterday but it just shows you that we can uh, use them both but for this one, what I'm then going to do, very similar, Ben, to the sentiment. If you're unsure um, about doing them all together, do it all separate. And what we're doing by using that outside die is actually just making sure this layer is the specific 6x6 size. Uh -huh. So then I'm just going to just tape all these bits out. I've got one already done because I can see I've still got quite a few wee bits still in place. However... Again, all to do with the power of the Gemini, you will find, although I've still got bits of cardstock just to, uh, in place, you know, it's still going to then just uh, die cut. So we're just going to add that into place. A few bits of extra tape, and we're going to run that one through. So again, let's just pop that towards the top. I always do it like towards the top, because it uh, saves wasting a bit of time. So again, plastic shim, magnetic, and then top cut and plate. So as we run that one through, that's just going to feed all the way in. And if you were to make a card that size that I'm doing then, it will fit on your Gemini Junior plates. But I'm just going to wait for that distinctive noise. And then when it's happened just there, pause and then reverse. So um, I know obviously we don't have the Gemini on the show as such today. I know people say, I never know whether I get the large one or the, the smaller one. So I always think of it as if you can get the larger one, then do that because it means you're able to do everything. If you get the smaller one, the Gemini Junior, it kind of limits to what you can do because it has to be able to fit through the actual mouth of the Gemini. So that's how I tend to use it, the larger ones because the larger ones, you can also use your smaller plates. Um, Aid on YouTube says, do you always need the metal shim for these dies? No, no, no. You'll it's have seen there that throughout uh, today, the couple of demos I've done, I've not used the metal shim at all. Um, metal shim, I would, if I was die cutting this design into something like our shedless glitter card, I probably would add the metal shim just so you can get all that detail. Because remember your glitter card, shedless glitter card, it's a coating. So uh, you're going to get all that detail. But then if ever there was a time to show you 
how incredible the detailed pressure of the Gemini is. Now look at all of these. So this is all die cut out. Now keep in mind, I don't know if you can see close up, we've still got lots of the ivory cardstock still in place that I've not cut out, of, you know, it's not fallen out. That's still die cut, all that you can see just there. So yes. it's perfect. So if I remove all that out of the way now, and we're just going to bring in the one that we've just die cut, I've got one that I've already done before, but what we're just going to do is start to layer this one up that you can see. Okay. And actually, let's just uh, let's just own it. So on this one here, so this is the one we've just done, and the one that I actually done before, I didn't add the sentiment. So that gives you a nice base and platform if you want to stamp onto. So that's what we've done there. But then this gives you the other option. I forgot. You know, this is the thing. I tend to change it last minute. Yeah, well, that's You know what you think. Although, in saying that, it's good because it shows you uh, the different things that you can do. So Patricia let's saying, just saying all the bits that you've um, you cut out there to um, don't throw them away. Put them in the pop-up cubes. That's what um, Patricia says. <laughs> Crack an idea. I love that idea. Or for your uh, shaker cards. Oh, put them yes. In there. Always Keep need bits the shakers. Them. Always need them. So there we go. So we've now got our uh, lid. And in case you're wondering, it is meant to be wonky, so you can see just there. Wonky donkey. And then just to prove that as well, there is the lid, there is the top that you can see just there. So then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to bring in one that I'd already done just here, but I've used the tis the season for this one. Yes. So again, that perfectly shows you how you can mix and match because that original one, we used deck the halls. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to overlay that one. So I'm just going to layer it up just to get it the right way. And actually it's a telltale way because you've got the wee bow at the bottom. So that can then go over the top. So we're just going to position that. So we're going to see that through all the way around. So if we then pop that one on and hold in that into place. So we've now got all Ooh, of that now look yes. at so you can see through so maybe put a bit of glitter card in the back maybe a bit of acetate vellum would look nice as well and then bringing in the tis the season because that's the one that i'd done earlier we're Wonky. just going to die cut that one sorry it's, that's it's okay. the season to be wonky it just came to my head then it's not wonky no it's 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 on the normal normal it's normal you know it's if, a jaunty angle, if yes. If that was not wonky. unintentionally wonky, then there's something wrong with my eyesight, that's for sure. Yeah. You know, that's uh, normal. So what we're just going to do is that comes out, and then just for this one, although it's a small sentiment, you can pause and reverse. I've just let it go all the way through. And then this gives us our tis the season. And very similar, or not very similar, exactly the same as we'd done earlier on. What you can just do is just snip away. So if we snip all the way around, that then at least gives us the start of a circle aperture that you can see. But then what we would then do is just follow the lines. So there gives us our circle aperture. And then just follow all the way around and you're just going to snip away all that excess bit. And then what that's just going to do is curve the word in. And we're just going to do that one and then do that one. And then what I'm going to do is we had, where, what have I done with it? What have I done with it? So I did have one, oh, there we go, right in front of me, right in front of me, where I've run it through this iron. I've just added uh, some uh, red gems just there. So then, taking this one off. Um, now, anyone that's wondering about the Zyron, it's still out of stock. We are trying to get it back in. It will be back in, you know, and I know that uh, everything that's going on just now, uh, getting it across here in the UK, is taking a bit longer yes. than we'd like. But it is, um, don't worry, we've still got it and it will be coming back. So there we are. So I'm just going to press that into place. And then what we're just going to do, you can see there, we've just overlaid that in the centre. So we've got all that detail all the way around that cuts out of place. And then we've just got that centre one just there. And there is our box. So that could be, of course, um, you know, a, a gift box or what it could be is uh, maybe cookies or Christmas cookies, anything like that within the middle just there. Absolutely amazing. Uh, that was your Holly frame from the main collection, your, uh, uh, your creator card. 
collection. Let's quickly rattle through that because I realise we are just a couple of minutes away from the end of the show. Um, so this is your Christmas tree frame with your three interchangeable sentiments, uh, season's greetings, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. There is your um, Star of Wonder. Is that what it's called, Star of Wonder, or have I made that up? Star frame, uh, but it does have Star of Wonder. It does have joy to the world and peace on earth. Also, you've got your snowflake, let it snow, believe in magic, and winter wishes, don't know what that is. And also, deck the halls with boughs of holly, have a jolly holiday, tis the season to be jolly. There you go, your three interchangeable sentiments that you get with that collection. All of that, um, if you want to go for that uh, in total, it is, uh, 78 pounds or 90 dollars and the glues as well by the way the wet um, collection there for you with your universal your tacky and your four um, uh, fine tip glue applicators 15 pounds or 28 dollars that is an absolute steal and an absolute must have um, make sure you grab it take advantage of the deals listen uh, thank you for joining us Craig thank you so much thank you very much it's been a great day and I will see you again tomorrow with Ben you certainly will tomorrow uh, join Join us at 1 o'clock UK time, 8 on the East Coast, 5 on the West Coast. We will uh, be doing a Foil Press 101. Craig will be in his foil shirt. He'll be all singing, all dancing. And don't forget, tomorrow at 4, uh, me and Debbie with our massive cartload extravaganza. It's going to be amazing. Have a brilliant day, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>